I'm heading to one of my favourite small fells in the Lake District. And that fell is called Luffrig Fell. And park just before you get to Rideau Water, free car parking, which is obviously a good thing in the Lake District. And the advantages of Luffrig Fell is that is there is many or numerous little knolls, little advantage points scattered throughout. And from there, there's scenes of towards Windermere and the Langdale Pikes. I am armed with my telephoto lens, of course, and also my wide angle, just in case. Weather-wise, rather breezy, no rain, clouds in the sky, but we've got some nice detailed clouds, which is often a good thing. <laughs> hints of autumn approaching. The colours are slowly starting to bronze. So I'm approaching the bottom of Luffrig Fell uh, just before I start ascending. I walk past Rider Water and now I'm at a place called Rydal Caves. Just in a few uh, walk around and there's some lovely intimate shots to be had. I'm not actually on my own today. Introductions to follow. So rather than me going into the cave and the audio getting ruined by the echoing voices going on in there, I've actually stepped away. I've taken a shot, intimate detail shot, telephoto, F11, because I want everything into sharpness. I focused on the fern and that gives a contrast between the reds of the rocks against the greens of the ferns. Now I have mentioned this before, but I've used negative space. So when you do look at this image, you'll see I've positioned the fern in the lower, uh, lower part of the frame and I've allowed sufficient enough space for it to breathe basically. And I managed to also get in the reflection. I quite like this. I'm going to get some further images in a bit. caves and I'm just heading up to the bottom of Ulfrig Fell. Looked around there and boom there we were. Beautiful light going on and also some beautiful leading lines and this is what you've got to do just when you're walking along just don't walk along with your head, eyes down, look up every now and then take a breather, look around you. So I've taken a shot, telephoto, there's a couple of leading lines and it's such a harsh contrast between the foreground and the background. I've had to borrow a three-stop hard grad and also bracket it, bracket it as well, um, three stops. So uh, there we go. So we're going to continue now. So it's quite a steep climb up Luffrig Terrace, albeit very short. There is advantage points that you can stop off every now and then and just to admire the views of Grasmere below. And there's also the Langdale Pike slowly coming into sight. Look around the trees are slowly turning colour into their majestic autumnal hues. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got to the top of Luffrig Fell and guess what? The wind and rain have followed me. But I tell you what, I've been blessed with some beautiful light. Got a shot towards the Langdale Pikes, lots of contrasty patchy light and then over to Windermere as well. The cloud details and formation is just wonderful. Often bad weather leads to good photography. I had to work quick. Uh, stuck the telephoto on a tripod, F11, ISO 400 so to establish uh, a quick shutter speed because the wind was just shaking the tripod. Pretty pleased. I've only just got to the top. I'm now going to find myself a no, an advantage point and see what else I can get. But the light is just weaving its magic and it's beautiful. with a few shots there the wind is just not letting up at all quite ferocious I wanted a long exposure so fix the camera onto the tripod and I spread the legs out just to make sure there's maximum stability to avoid all movement about a two minute exposure f16 really please I want to make sure that I shot the clouds coming towards me just to add that dynamic to the final shot. I'm pretty pleased with it, to be honest. Very moody. I've, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this shot, black and white, um, and it's, it's really important to have some sort of idea in your head what you're gonna do when you get back to process. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're gathered here today, sounds like a wedding. <laughs> and we're just um, composing a shot. I'm trying to, trying to get something better than Tom. Tom! Good luck. Where are you? I'm here, mate. Say hello. Hello. So, Tom, I might just check the exposure. I don't know. Tom, I've got a question for you. Sure. Where are you? I can't see you. Yeah. So I've got a question for you. Are you a real ninja? Am I? Are you a real ninja? Because so I'll tell you what, don't mess with me. Because I'm a brown belt in chicken foo young. <laughs> Alright? Is that the Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just check the exposure. Two minutes. There we go. Simon Byrne. Speak to me, I don't have an S. No, no relation. I'm Bern, no. you're Bern. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm copying you. You, you two are doing a shot, so I figured I'd get my camera out. Why not? Be rude not to. It so would. you have got a channel, YouTube channel, fellow YouTuber, no, landscape sorts. photographer. Yes, Yeah. I do indeed. I'll put a link in, of course, but I, I really do say go to his channel. Um, excellent production quality. Thank you. You sir. have. Um, so yeah, take a look at that. Needs, needs exposure. 
Absolutely. You need the exposure, don't you? I do. Yeah? And did you say that was a tenner or a fiver for, for saying uh, that? That's ten pound per... Ten pound. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay you later. Good luck, yeah. I'll pay you later. All right. There's this chap over here you might recognise. No, I don't know. Let's have a look. Who else there? Say hello, Mr... Chris Sale. Hello, James. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? It's been a long time yeah, since we all last saw you. Oh, I see. I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It has been a while, um, hasn't it? Just get get you back in the camera. Here I am. I think the same. There you go. Look, oh, look at my hair. Are we expecting to come back any time now, Chris? Yeah, I mean, or I shall I, leave that with you. I hope to have a, a new video out before the end of September. Very good. Hmm. Can't wait for that. I am loving my break though. Oh, I bet you are. Been Lots of time break. to think about new ideas and themes, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Right. So, that is it. That's it for this great session. Me and my pals, I hope we've got some decent shots. Uh, we've got to head back down. We're going to the pub now. We are indeed. Wow. Yeah. You're buying. Um, he's, he's these three are going to the pub. <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> so, <laughs> for now, I will catch you all later. Remember, I'm on Instagram on James underscore R underscore Burns. Um, I've also got a website as well. James R. Burns photo dot com. So until the next time, take care, be happy. Bye bye for now. We've made a vlog today. He's getting get a vlog in his actually in that one. <laughs> <laughs>